I believe that God's existence best explains a wide range of the data of human experience. Let me just mention eight. First, God is the best explanation of why anything at all exists. Suppose you were hiking through the forest and came upon a ball lying on the ground. You would naturally wonder how it came to be there. If your hiking buddy said to you, just forget about it, it just exists inexplicably, you would think either that he was joking or that he wanted you to just keep moving. No one would take seriously the idea that the ball just exists without any explanation. Now, notice that merely increasing the size of the ball, even until it becomes coextensive with the universe, does nothing to provide or remove the need for an explanation of its existence. So, what is the explanation of the existence of the universe? Whereby the universe, I mean all of space-time reality. The explanation of the universe can lie only in a transcendent reality, beyond the universe, beyond space and time, which is metaphysically necessary in its existence. Now, there's only one way I can think of to get a contingent universe from a necessarily existing cause, and that is if the cause is a personal agent who can freely choose to create a contingent reality. It therefore follows that the best explanation of the existence of the contingent universe is a transcendent personal being, which is what everybody means by God. We can summarize this reasoning as follows. One, every contingent thing has an explanation of its existence. Two, if the universe has an explanation of its existence, that explanation is a transcendent personal being. Three, the universe is a contingent thing. Four, therefore, the universe has an explanation of its existence. Five, therefore, the explanation of the universe is a transcendent personal being, which is what everybody means by God.